Welcome to the channel guys uh, I just wanted to get on here I don't care if this video is long or not I just want to let you know uh, I appreciate all the concern I'm fine I'm, I'm able to walk not very quick uh, I think this back injury is gonna last probably a week uh, I, I can get around and walk and but I haven't had the back spasms that I used to get and I'm icing down my back every half an hour I'm, I've got ice behind me right now I was able to get to the recliner today and feed well feed all the dogs first they didn't get their usual meal uh, where I could put all the bowls on the counter and then mix in their the meat and stuff they just got dry and they ain't gonna kill them i gave them a little extra uh because i can't bend over so what i did is i got a big like a salad bowl I'm, i was able to measure out their normal amount and then give them a little more and they they were fine with that but tilly tilly was a tear one o'clock i mean feeding time ain't but two o'clock but she was going crazy she is the worst when it comes to food uh, uh, it's very painful I gotta tell you that <laughs> it's been a while since I hurt my back this bad but a lot of people reached out asked if I needed help and I don't because I can still walk and I'm gonna tell you they sell them little grabbers that, at the hardware store that you can pick things up with they don't have nothing on my snake tongs. My snake tongs grip stuff good. And I had to get out of the jeans I was wearing and I, that took forever. I could I could I got out of the jeans in a few minutes, but then I wanted to get into some sweatpants. And that took a while. So I just kind of laid them on the ground. I took my snake tongs and I got one leg in. That took about 5 minutes. But that other leg, oh man, it took me a while. So I'm going to be wearing these. But uh, yeah, I can walk around with my cane pretty good in the house. So I'm all right. Uh, if, I, if I need help, I will call. People have offered, I will call. But there's nothing pressing. That, that building does not have to be insulated tomorrow. So I don't want a bunch of people showing up to insulate that building. It's not important. And I always have my phone nearby, and I, I'm fine. I can I can at least walk with the cane. But man, it hurts. I took a nap earlier today, and when your body totally relaxes, and then you wake up and you try to get out of the chair, it hurts. But I haven't went into back spasms, and I'm doing good. I may maybe tomorrow I'll wake up. You just never know. But I've had enough of these back injuries. I've been dealing with this serious back injuries for like 10, 12 years. But I actually got really, I think what started it all was back in 2000, 2000. I was DJing. I had DJ equipment. I was DJing at a friend's wedding. And I had all my equipment set up on a... Um, picnic table and when it was everything was over i reached out and monitors back in 2000 were big well you know a picnic table has a seat and then the table so you can't just pick something up off the table and i reached out and i picked it up and my back went out that was my worst experience of my life one of them but i i i, I got home it was a long drive and i got home laid on the couch I had back spasms for three days. So I've learned over the years, you, do, you don't lay down. You don't do that. That is the worst thing that you can do. As you can see, I'm sitting in an office chair. And ever since I learned that, you don't get the spasms. And spasms are horrible, man. You don't want them. I will never forget. I fell on the floor. I, I stood up. I was sleeping on an air mattress. This is when I first moved here. And I tried to get out of, off that thing, and I, I was stuck on the floor. And I went into back spasms. 
and so that I learned every time you went into a back spasm you had to just kind of move because it already hurt what you know that's the only way you could move I made it to a dresser and I was able to pull myself up but I was like stuck on the ground for three hours and and I've had four MRIs I know what shape my back's in that's why I'm on disability the main reason uh, there's knees and hips and everything else but that is the main reason and I've done good I quit wearing a back brace that is the worst thing you can do my brother uh, his daughter married a chiropractor and he he said he always says never wear a back brace every day if you got a bad back you gotta let the muscles build up and so I I wore one every day took it off and I'm able to function but as you see you know I simply reached up to pull the staple gun putting that insulation in and my back went out so that's what happens you know and it's it, here lately it's always been stupid things like that for some reason reaching above your head to do something I mean I, I feel that right there and you know? it's at about top of my head so I'm just gonna rest for a few days. I'm able to get up, go to the bathroom, do things, and walk. I don't get to walk very fast, but I've been here, done this, and I know this is nowhere near the levels where I when I originally hurt my back. So then I, I required assistance. Right now I don't need it. I'm able to take care of my animals. That's my main concern. I don't really care about me. Because I can get around and do stuff, but it's, you know, bending down to get their food. It's in a bag. And I just put it all in a bowl, and they get a certain measurement a day. And then I just stood up, poured it in their bowl. They were fine. They know. They know when I'm hurting because they, they sit and whine. Waldo and Lily have seen it all their lives. And they sit and cry, and I tell them I'm okay, and they're fine. But uh, Tilly, she's never seen me hurt. She was a pain in my butt today. Yep. All right, guys, I'm fine. Ooh, we got to go 20 more seconds. We'll make eight minutes. I'm fine. If I need help, I will ask for it. I currently don't. I'm currently in a lot of pain, but I don't need help. I've got, uh, I'm taking three of these 200 milligrams. It helps. I don't take anything else. But uh, I'm good. I Hopefully I'm good in a few days. But I think this one's going to probably last a week. And I don't need to go anywhere. I got plenty of food in the house. I'm good. I made soup today. A couple grilled cheese sandwiches. It is, it is hard to stand for a while doing stuff like that. But I made it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your concern. Like I say, if I need help, I'll ask. Happy trails.